Once upon a time, in a small village nestled amidst rolling hills, there lived an old man named Henry. He was known for his gentle demeanor, wisps of silver hair, and weathered hands that spoke of a life filled with experiences. Henry had lived through countless seasons, witnessing the ebb and flow of time, and he often sat by the village square, sharing tales with anyone willing to lend an ear. His stories were enchanting, drawing listeners in as if they were transported to distant lands and magical realms. But behind the sparkle in his eyes and the warmth of his stories, there was a sadness that few noticed. Henry had lost his beloved wife, Margaret, many years ago, and her absence weighed heavily on his heart. Despite this, he found solace in reminiscing about their adventures together, allowing his. One day, a curious young girl named Emily decided to approach the old man. Her curiosity had been piqued by the whispers of his captivating stories, and she longed to learn from the wisdom of his years. Little did she know that their encounter would change both their lives forever. As Emily spent more time with Henry, their bond deepened, and the old man found renewed purpose in sharing his stories with a new generation. Through Emily's eyes, he discovered the magic of passing down knowledge and experiences to kindred spirits. Together, they embarked on their own adventures within the confines of their village, making memories that would echo through generations. As the days turned into months, and the months into years, Emily grew into a young woman, and the old man found joy in seeing her blossom. The story of the old man and the young girl became a tale of friendship, healing, and the enduring power of storytelling. Their bond touched the hearts of everyone in the village as they witnessed the transformative power of connection between the young and the old. And so the story of the old man and his young friend lives on, passed down through generations, a reminder that even in the twilight years, the human spirit can find solace, joy, and meaning in the company of kindred souls.